the default treatment would be, um, assuming there was no election, that the, the underlying income in, in the company would generally be taxed at the US personal tax rate. Um, and that's due to the global intangible uh, low taxed income rules which were introduced in 2018. And I think just to just to kind of point out there, there are there are multiple what we call in the U.S. anti deferral regimes, and and one of those anti deferral regimes, as as Paul said, is the controlled foreign corporation regime. And there's sort of two aspects to that. Um, there's the kind of part that's about you are earning what we think is bad income, like passive income, you know, stuff that you shouldn't be putting. You shouldn't put a bunch of stock in a company. Um, and then get dividends on that stock into the company. We don't think, from a policy perspective, we don't think that works. Um, so that's one kind of part of this controlled foreign corporation regime, which we call subpart F. The other part of this um, controlled foreign corporation regime is is what Paul mentioned, which is um, the global intangible low taxed income, or uh, guilty, um, because someone in Congress had a sense of humor. Um, and and that's effectively for a for a tech business for a business that doesn't have tangible assets, uh, that's effectively all of its income. Mm-hmm.